James, here's the 15th play of the drive for Georgia Tech. Third and 13, Oliver wants to throw it. Now going to keep it, 10, 5, and dives. Will he? Nope, did not get in. It'll be just short. Fourth and goal from the from inside the one yard line coming right at you here about his players passionate about the game of football it's who you want to play for Oliver under some heavy heat here it came after what a catch by Lynch Ten Lynch with a nice move inside the 10 yard line it'll be first and goal Georgia Tech by Baylin Spector he evades the pressure keeps the play alive and he finds Clinton Lynch with the left-handed, one-handed grab, and he stays in bound. Throwback, wide open, Oliver, touchdown. Hey, Clinton Lynch in the end zone. Makes it 42 to 20 with the extra point to follow. Well, the move paid off to put Lawrence back in the ball game at quarterback. Oliver pivoting, spun around. Did a little Houdini act. And brought down inside the 40 at the 37-yard line in a spirited run by Tobias Oliver. Juan Marshall got banged up a little bit, and that was the game that they lost Benson as well. There's a fake to Mason and Oliver loose, and here comes his fourth touchdown run. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. 34 yards for Tobias Oliver. Following that, that lead man and just getting through that, that initial wave. Doing such a good job up front. Really impressed with the offensive line of Georgia Tech here today. Now they finally they earned the right to go back down and cut a few people on that one. Taking it to the house the rest of the way is Tobias Oliver. Design follow of that B back right there and leads off to the races. Gonna happen Syracuse there. has just scored and they're trying to push it back to a 10 point lead early in the fourth at Tiger Town. And here's Oliver on the run again for Georgia Tech to start the drive. We we're talking about it on the phone call earlier <laughs> this week and I was just picturing the little yellow slip and slide. Tobias Oliver is gone. 62 Touchdown, yards. And the Jackets go over the 60 mark. You know, Tobias Oliver filling in for Taquan Marshall and doing a pretty good job. It's off to the races again. I don't think he's been touched yet. We'll take this snap. And it will be Oliver with a thank you very much touchdown. That's his sixth rushing touchdown of the year. He has been terrific in limited playing time. Over. Clay, you're scoring on this one. Watch 75 Parker Braun and 56 Hansen. The push, instant. It's three or four. Clay Maffick, Dan Orlovsky, Paul Karkatera back here in Louisville as Georgia Tech starts the fourth quarter just like they have started every other quarter. Tobias Oliver with a big play. Boy, this rushing offense for Georgia Tech. He'll finally made the tackle, but it's a huge run of 65 yards. I gotta imagine every coach in the ACC is like, wait, they got another one in the pipeline. Oliver came in last week, and that's really something Georgia Tech struggled in. This is gonna be, he lost about seven games in a row on the road. Oliver caps another scoring drive. Not tonight. Not gonna happen tonight. That streak's gonna end tonight. Next a bunch tonight to Quad Marshall and Tobias Oliver, but how about the offensive line? for Georgia Tech and everybody playing their part. That's a killer. 21 points off of those turnovers for Duke. Here's Tobias Oliver. Up the right side for Oliver and he scurries out of bounds beyond the 20 as we check in with Marisha. It's, uh, 20 minutes from here, up the road, up I-75. and Big day for Randy. Four catches, 91 yards all in the second half. Georgia Tech's going deep inside the 20 caught by Stewart. Tech got to be in a hurry, get on the ball. Glad to know he's still so supportive of Justin Fuente and his team. Third and eight. Oh, Yellow Jackets are going to have to throw the ball. Oliver gets away from one would-be soccer and another. 
Oliver's going to get the first down. He's still in bounds and finally driven out at about the Virginia Tech 35. Wow. Oliver, it looks like he's going to be brought down in the backfield. His left tackle, Quinney, is beat. He makes a guy miss, then makes another. He's got a convoy out in front. It's no secret that this is an inexperienced Virginia Tech defense. They've been a little up and down from a tackle. Completed two passes and won the game. Touchdown. Oliver keeps. And we are an extra point away from tying this game up again. What a contrast in the way these two teams go about it here in this first 15 minutes. Amazing. I mean, Tobias Oliver really has done a nice job so far. Just understanding where he has numbers, making good sound decisions. Starting to see more of the variety, the different looks. Oliver cut it up field and enough strength. Man, he is tough to get to the ground. That's the first down for Georgia Tech. After their timeout, Cottrell in motion. Oliver right behind his B back. Another Oliver touchdown. Wow. Nine plays, 72 yards. This drive took about four minutes off the clock. Georgia Tech for the first time in this game takes a lead with an extra point coming. You can see, I mean, look at all the blockers out in front. And he knows exactly where he's going. He's not trying to get to that pylon. He might drop it back, but Tobias Oliver's made some plays in this situation with his legs. Yeah, he's not going to throw. He's going to try to run. He broke a tackle. Oliver will get hit hard. He tried to get there, and he spotted, I think, a yard short. Man, he got close. Close enough to where near midfield, I would not be surprised if Georgia Tech goes for it. It's on the field. A quarterback draw for Tobias Oliver. Oh my goodness, and you look at the hit at the end. Now, Tobias. Yards of penalties on a few very critical calls. Straight ahead, Oliver kept it. Virginia Tech, I don't think they knew where the ball was. That is another Yellow Jackets first down and back into scoring position where they have, I mean, I, I may be redundant because they've been unstoppable just about everywhere. But Georgia Tech's offense has just been almost uninterrupted in this game. Oliver inside the five reaches forward and he got it. Touchdown, Tobias Oliver. Making sure that he got in, of course. 300 rushing yards in the game. Oliver keeps again. Oliver squirts through. Missed tackle, still on his feet. Finally goes down with a big hit. What a huge gain for Tobias Oliver, who just keeps on going. 21 more yards. Operated like this in so long. It feels like it's been a year and a half. I know the game against Louisville was a lead. Got away with a push, as you said. The throw had a lot of float on it, which helped him get away with it. Tobias Oliver's first carry of the game is a first down run of 15 yards. He's gonna run the keepers and kind of run it right up the gut. Let's we'll see if he does it here. Oliver keeps it. There's the signal, touchdown Georgia Tech. Oliver from two yards out punches it in. Not comfortable doing. And yeah, it comes out, looks like the option, but it's really a quarterback sweep with lead blockers in front of him. Three hours west of Chapel Hill. Went to Western Carolina, grad school at Appalachian State. As Oliver fires deep downfield, completes the pass. Quay Searcy has nothing but green grass in front of him. Searcy's gonna go 85 yards. How about that for your first career college completion, Tobias Oliver. Comes out. Takes the triple option. Quay Searcy just sneaks by the secondary. And it was off to the races after that. Sees those things. Larry Fedora hoping his defense can dial up a stop. But Tobias Oliver with another big chunk on first down. Out to the 45 yard line. A gain of 18. Scoring touchdowns. First and 10 line brought to you by Lending Tree, the official loan shopping partner of the ACC. Oliver back to the air. And there's Jerry Howard downfield, just his second reception of the season. Oliver keeps it and walks it into the end zone untouched. Georgia Tech retakes the lead with three minutes remaining. His team marches 41 yards on nine plays after the interception. 
something the Jackets have struggled with in the past. Tobias Oliver down to the 13-yard line. Carolina has all three timeouts. Different beach. That's why they make a, such a big deal about the, the change, the curveball that it throws you when you're a defense. Woo. What a big lick put on Oliver that time. That was Dylan Oliver Thompson who came crashing.